Madam Speaker, when news broke of a secret $10.5 million payment to a self-confessed convicted terrorist, the government launched a, a, an investigation spanning six departments to find out who blew the cover-up. When news broke of the Prime Minister trying to interfere in the prosecution of a Liberal-friendly, well-connected corporation uh, charged with uh, corruption, he, uh, in turn, slammed down the, the Justice Committee to keep it a secret. When the Liberals cut the shipping order, uh, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Madam Speaker, I'm going to anticipate where that question was going, and I believe it was going towards the issue of the Supreme Court appointments process. And what I would say is what I've already said on the record, and that is that we take any disclosure of personal and, and confidential information very seriously. It is very troubling. Secondly, I would reiterate for Canadians that are watching that we have, they should have at most, utmost confidence in the process we are using to uphold the administration of justice and the rule of law and to ensure that the people who are selected for that high office are merit-based and are fully eminent and capable of fulfilling the high office and, and its important function in protecting the rule of law in this country. The Honourable Member for Ottawa West Nepi. 